Glory be to God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to learn at your feet. Please accept our thanks. Holy Spirit, take control. Speak your words to our lives. Give us the spirit of understanding and the grace to apply your words to our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want to welcome you to another episode of Bible Lessons. We are picking another series today. And we want to look at the book of Psalm chapter 51, verse 17. Psalm 51, verse 17. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. If you read this book of Psalm 51 from verse 1, it's the prayer of uh, King David after he committed adultery with Bathsheba. And the Lord made him known that you have sinned. And he repented. He, he, he went to God. And this part of the things he said in his prayers. That God is looking for sacrifice from you. He's looking for sacrifice from me. He's looking for sacrifices from us. But he will not be in a hurry to accept any house sacrifice. Remember the story of Cain and Abel. Abel offered sacrifice. Cain also offered sacrifice. It is not enough to just offer sacrifice. You must offer an acceptable sacrifice. And Psalm 51 verse 17 is showing us that the kind of sacrifice that God will not reject is the one that is coming from a broken spirit. He said, a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, God will not reject. The state of your heart and the condition of your spirit all together will determine whether you will be accepted by God or rejected by him. It is possible for ones to be rejected by God and men will still be praising you. It is possible for one to be rejected by God and you will even receive a word from men. A broken spirit. You see, when we talk about broken spirit and a broken heart, it's not an aspect that is a, uh, totally known to men or to third party, so to say. I may not know that you have a broken spirit, but I might see your sacrifice. People are seeing our sacrifices but they are not opportune to see the state of our heart. But God is saying, if I'm going to accept you, accept your sacrifices, I will first look at the state, the condition of your heart. The sacrifices of God, the one that God approves, are what? Broken spirits. So, on this note, we are picking this series, which I titled, Busy But Not Broken. Busy, but not broken. It is very easy for one to be busy. It is very easy for you people to see you being busy. But God is looking for you being broken. We are in the generation of busy people. Parents are busy doing one thing or the other. Devil, even devil is busy. Yes, if you look at the book of Job chapter 1, you see that it's recorded that he was moving to and fro, back and forth, and, and, and front. So, we must move beyond being busy. Why? Because God, Jesus Christ, is coming for, not for busy people, he's coming for broken Christians. There was a place in the book of Luke chapter 10, Luke chapter 10 verse 17, Jesus sent the 70 to go to the world to preach the gospel. And they came back. They were rejoicing. Hear what Jesus said in verse 17 of Luke chapter 10. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And here I will skip. Let me go to verse 20. Verse 20 of Luke chapter 10 says, Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not. Is it wrong to rejoice that the devil bows? Is it wrong to rejoice that even demons 
Obey the name of Christ that we've called. But may I tell you that it's being categorized as still being busy. Yes. Let me continue. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Busy, I mean, a broken person is someone whose name is written in heaven. A broken person is someone whose heart has been regenerated. Jesus told the disciples, the 70, if at all you are going to rejoice for anything, rejoice that your names are written in the book of life. And that is simply telling us that all that you've done, it is possible to do it and still not have your name written in the book of life. You see, there are lot we can do with the name of God. The name of God is a strong pop, uh, a tower. The righteous run it into it and they are saved. Now, when the name of God begins to work for us, we must not limit our spiritual activity to the realm of busyness. We must, act as a matter of importance, cultivate a broken spirit. A broken spirit is a spirit that will not rejoice in sin. A broken spirit is a spirit that will not live his life in competition. A broken spirit is a spirit that will not seek glory for himself. A broken spirit is a spirit that is void of pride, of the works of the flesh. Let's go for broken spirit. A broken spirit will not reject correction. A broken spirit will submit to authority. A broken spirit will not, uh, will not seek for men. I mean, will not seek to please men. The sacrifice that God is looking for is a broken spirit. Busy, but not broken. Are you just busy? There's a song that says, busy serving the Lord. We are just busy. We are just busy. God is looking for you. You see, God is not calling you because of what you are going to do for him. He's calling you just because of what he wants to make out of your life. And before you can attain this level, you must cultivate a broken spirit. A broken spirit is readily available for God to be used. And if God wants to maybe perform this miracle here, you say, okay, I have this broken spirit. Come, come and do this thing. What is the state of your spirit? This is just an introduction to this uh, uh, this, this topic, busy but not broken. Let's go back to God. There is, there is a little you can do by just being busy. Because being busy will not take you far in God's kingdom. But being broken will sustain you to eternity. God is looking for broken Christians that are ready to say yes, Lord. That are not ready to cover our sin. A broken Christian is a Christian that is Christian in the public and is also a Christian in the secret. A broken Christian is a Christian that is totally yielded to God. And say, yes, Lord, whatever you want to use me for. We don't choose, a broken, Christ, a broken spirit will not choose for God. A broken spirit will not carve a kingdom for himself. We surrender all unto God. What is the state of your spirit? Please go back to God and let him work on your spirit. Let him work on your heart. A reasonable service is a service that is rendered from a regenerated, a renewed mind. That is a broken spirit. As we continue in this series, we pray God will help us. But please bow down your head and just pray this simple prayer with me. If you have not given your life to Jesus, you have not even started. 
You might be busy running here and there for God. And everyone is crying and saying, we need you to even come. Come and register. You have not even registered. No matter how effective you are, going to classes, maybe you are, you are in the university and you are just going to classes and you are not registered, you don't have matric number, you cannot graduate. Being busy cannot make you to graduate in God's kingdom. Being broken is what will take you further. So bow down your head and pray this prayer and say, Lord, please come into my life if you have not given your life to Jesus. I surrender all unto you. Be my Lord and my Savior. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. And for some of us that are just uh, being busy, cry to God this time. Take a few minutes to pray and say, Lord, please help me. Look at the state of my heart. You so I care about the th I care about the things of this world now. You know, the, the affairs of this world have taken over my heart. Just please help me to look unto you, the author and the finisher of my faith. Help me, help me. Cry to God is going to help you. Lord, please help us on this matter. To keep on with broken spirit. We cannot go and manufacture broken spirit. The, a prophet cannot just lay hands on you and you will have a broken spirit. It will have to pass through processes. Lord, please help us to, to submit ourselves to achieve this state of brokenness so that we can go far with you, so that we can reign with you. Thank you, Heavenly, Mother, Heavenly Father. Blessed be thy name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God bless you. Please watch out for another episode on this series. See you next week, by God's grace.